hello friends welcome to ffm pack series so in this video we will discuss how to change audio or video codec using ffm pack so at first uh, what is codec so basically codec is used for compressing audio or video file so we know that uh, let me show you an example so suppose this is a file a.mp4 and uh, this is a compressed version and this is the same file but this is not compressed so if you see the size of the file you will be shocked so in this case this is just 1.9 mb but the same file in that case is in gb okay this is in gb so simply without if we do not do com uh, compression so the file will be too lengthy so this is why compression is used and for that codec is used so in this video video we will see how to change the codec using the ffm pack command so this is very simple so uh, just uh, be with me okay so this is the command basically and uh, before that let me show you which codec is there in this video which i am going to use so just go to the properties and just go to here and here you can see the codec in this case this is mpeg4 okay and what i want i want to convert i want to change the codec and use bp9 okay so different codec i have written here you can see it okay these are the most popular one so to do this we have to use just this command okay i i just copied it and we will paste in the terminal okay so let me make you understand what is so at first you have to write the ffm peg and then dash i dash i basically means input so after dash i you have to give the input file means in which file you are going to work so i want to use a.mp4 and uh, this is the input file i want to give and then dash c and then colon v dash c basically is used for codec so i'm asking to use the codec for video so for video and audio different codec are there so i'm asking to use the codec for video and the codec name after after space give the codec name so in this case i want to use vp9 okay and then after this you have to give a space and then output file name so uh, the output file name i have given vid vp9 anything you can give so in this way the codec used will be vp9 and in the same uh, video if i want that no no vp9 note i want h264 so similarly you can give that also so in this case i am using vp9 so you have to just type this thing there is no more nothing else and just hit enter and just wait for some time because this is doing the processing frame by frame so it will take some time so this was all uh, these are the codecs so this is most popular one h264 and this is another one h265 which is um, means a newer version and this is vp9 so in this video we are going to use vp9 so let's see if it has been done or not so it's taking the time because uh, uh, if uh, it depends on length of the video so if it is long video it will take some time and uh, so this is all process and similarly one more thing so this is for uh, video and similarly if you want for audio so instead of v you have to just write you have to just give a and then name of the audio codec so let me see let me give aac as you can see in example i have given aac so for audio and for you have to change the name of the audio file also so suppose there is some file suppose i have one example i have one audio file sound.wav so you have to give the audio as sound dot wave and the audio codec will be after c instead of v just give a and this is the name of the audio codec and then file name so since this is a audio so i will not give mp4 i will give instead mp3 if i want so this was for audio now see now it should be completed yeah it's done now we can go to the file and we can see the video which was yeah vid vp9 now if i will go to the properties audio video codec c the same video the codec has been changed from that one to vp9 okay now why to change codec because uh, uh, means compression efficiency of different codec are different so for that we want to change the codec so in this way we could see that we have successfully changed the codec for the video and for audio similarly we can do the same so i hope you understand so please subscribe to my channel and if you still have any problem you can write in the comment section thank you thank you guys